Well, Jackson City Council brings in some extra help to address the city's ongoing water crisis. 12 News' Marie Menefield tells us what could be in store for the future. Marie? Yes, Mel. Jackson City Council members say it's time to bring in additional manpower to fix Jackson's ailing water system. Councilwoman Bergie Lindsay of Ward 7 notes that though the workers at the water treatment facilities are trying to address the ongoing issues, there is still a lot of work to be done. Many council members endorse bringing in a third party to help alleviate performance issues, maintenance, and lack of staff. Uh, well, it's going to take uh, making sure that, that we have the proper parameters and cost of that management agreement. Uh, working with the U.S. Water Alliance, uh, we hope that it's a matter of a couple of months. Uh, but to give a firm timeline would be irresponsible and it would be uh, complete speculation. And, and so that's what we're doing. We've already uh, been working towards that end, uh, and so that means that we have advanced work in that area. Uh, the U.S. Water Alliance is making a significant contribution to uh, what will support our water treatment facility in the month of September. Uh, will be a critical month for moving forward. Senator John Horn of District 26 released a statement expressing his approval of Jackson City Council passing a resolution requesting the mayor to bring in third-party management for the city's drinking water. He says it will provide long-term solutions to our wastewater issues and the overall operations for Jackson's Water and Sewer Administration. Mayor Lumumba went on to say there have been decades of deferred maintenance at the treatment facilities and now is the time to bring more expert expertise to the table. Marie Menefield, 12 News.